Hi folks, Will Holder from Will Holder Realty here. Uh, over the past few weeks, we've talked through the key points from listing your home. And if you have any interest in taking a look at those, our website's blog at williamholderrealty.com is up right now. Feel free to take a look. Uh, we've talked about condition, marketing, and location. Now we're on to the, one of the key factors, which is pricing. Uh, here are some of the things I hear the most from my sellers. Obviously the most important thing, am I asking too much? A good barometer for figuring out if you're asking too much is how much interest there is on your home when you put it on the market. If you're getting a, a consistent flow of showings for the first seven to 10 days, and you average at least a showing a day for that first seven to 10 days, you have a strong chance of getting an offer on your property. It means the marketing is responding well, the market's responding well to your property. Uh, there, are others, there are some other factors, that, of course, that play in condition, location, marketing. But if you've done all those things correctly, like you've read in the blogs, and you're on the market, and you're not getting a consistent flow of showing in that first seven to 10 days, then chances are you're overpriced. You obviously want to be patient, but at the same time, not too patient because time on market equals less money in your pocket. The next question I hear the most is, does this estimate work? Everyone loves to talk about this estimate. Uh, Zillow's estimate is an algorithm. It's a computer. You know, it's putting together a formula and it's trying to figure out what your home is best worth. They're basing it on the homes that sold in your neighborhood. And if you're not like most people living in a new construction neighborhood, or a neighborhood where every home is very similar, chances are this estimate is off. I've seen it over and over again where sometimes thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars in difference because Zillow is looking for what it considers uh, similar sales, but it can't really take into account what your kitchen looks like versus that other kitchen, or if your basement's finished versus that other basement. It's strictly looking at, looking at square footage and lot size. So in most cases, I would say consult a professional. Don't go with this estimate. The other question is, am I asking too little? Am I giving it away? Very rarely in the real estate market will you give away your home. Most agents have your best interest in mind and they wanna sell your house for the most they can because their pay is based on how much they sell the, they sell the home for. So are you giving it away? If you're talking to an agent that has your best interest in mind like we do, chances are you aren't. But if you do list your home for a little less than market value, there most likely will be multiple offers and you'll get what your house is worth, if not more. A recent example, I had a client who I've sold multiple homes to. He recently sold his home, moved out to the West Coast. He reached out to me because he wanted to sell his duplex he had here in Delaware County um, I, and a neighbor was interested. He said, I'd be happy to do the transaction for you, no worries. I'll help you with the paperwork. But when I found out what the neighbor was offering him, I kind of questioned that I said, I mean, this seems like a very low price. I think your house is worth more than this. So he asked me to look into it more. And when I did, I found out that his house was worth about 40,000 more than the neighbor was offering him for it. Uh, you know, he was a little afraid to put the house on the market, but I said, listen, if I can save you that, if I can get you that value, it's worth a shot. He agreed. As I was putting up the sign, the neighbor came running up and he said, I'd pay you for it. I'll pay you what they're asking. I want the property that bad. Just an example, the market speaks. If your house is worth what it's worth, people will pay for it. So again, thank you for checking in as always. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at williamholderrealty.com, williamholder at gmail, williamholderrealty at gmail, or 484-744-4053. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks.